Okay, for 5b, we have another one we want to use the power reducing formulas. So write this as first uh, powers of cosine, meaning we got to write, write our answer as cosine raised to the first power. We have a secant 4. Now, none of our formulas that we have for power reducing, we don't have any for uh, secant. So before we put those in, we're going to have to first use identity. Uh, so secant to the fourth power, that's the same thing as 1 over cosine to the fourth theta. So secant is 1 over cosine. The same power you have here will go along uh, with that one. Now, uh, we don't have a cosine to the fourth power. We have everything in terms of cosine squares. So the next thing we want to do is rewrite this as cosine squared and cosine squared. So we're going to just write it like that, uh, both of these cosine squared and cosine squared. Uh, we want to write it this way because then we're going to use a power reducing formula for each one of these individually. We have to use one for cosine squared, the same one we'll use again for the other cosine squared. And all these will be on the bottom of a fraction. So we have one over all this. So here's a power reducing formula. It's going to be one plus cosine two theta over two and one plus cosine two theta over two for this one. So we're using the same formula for each. We're using a power reducing formula for each of these cosines individually. Now we want to multiply this together. So across the top, across the bottom, and we'll do that next. Uh, so we have 1 over, on the bottom, we're going to multiply all this out. Now when you multiply this, you get 1 times 1, you get 1. You have a cosine 2 theta and another cosine 2 theta. That's going to be 2 cosine 2 theta. And then on the end, you get a plus cosine squared of 2 theta. That's, that's what you get by multiplying all the way across the top here. Now across the bottom down there, you'll get a 4. So, okay, so we really have 1 over all this uh, here. We can flip this because 1 divided by, when you divide by a fraction, same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So when we flip that, we're just going to get a 4 on top. And on the bottom, you have 1 plus 2 cosine 2 theta plus cosine squared 2 theta. Now we can't leave our answer like this unfortunately because we want to write it as first powers of cosine and we have a square there. And so because of the square we have to use a power reducing formula again. Now the way that these work is the angle you get inside here for the power reducing formula is always going to be double the original angle you started with. So if you have a theta here from the original one it turns into a 2 theta. Well this time we're going to use a power reducing formula but we have a 2 theta inside which means that when we use our power reducing formula, it's gonna look just like this, except we'll put a four theta in there instead of a two theta. So here's what it'll look like next. I have four over uh, one plus two cosine two theta plus, and I'm gonna put the power reducing formula, one plus cosine four theta over two. So I'm gonna have a kind of a fraction over a fraction here. In this case, I have a fraction within a fraction. Uh, going on down there, but that whole thing replaced the cosine squared 2 theta. Again, notice I went from 2 theta to 4 theta inside because that's what it does, what the formula does. Now, I want to get rid of the, I don't want to leave my answer like this, I want to actually get rid of the uh, fraction within a fraction. So I'm going to, uh, you can either do one of two ways. The way I showed it in the, the notes uh, for this, the answer key, is I got common denominators there. But another way you could do it uh, is just multiply the whole thing by a power of 1, multiply by 2 over 2. Now if I multiply across the top, I'll get an 8. But now when I do this one, the 2 across the bottom, every single thing inside here must be multiplied by 2. So 2 times the first one will get just 2 there. 2 times 2 cosine 2 theta will give you 4 cosine 2 theta. We don't multiply the 2 by the part inside here, we just multiply by the one outside, so it'll just be 4 cosine 2 theta. This 2 here will cancel with the 2 down below, so you get plus 1 plus cosine 4 theta on the end. So the 2 basically just cancels out and we're left with this. The last thing we'll do is just add like terms together, and it doesn't matter the order in which you write those down below, 
Uh, you'll have eight on top, two plus one is three, and then plus four cosine of two theta plus cosine four theta. Because the inside ones are not the same, we have a two theta and a four theta, these are not like terms, so we can't combine those or simplify anymore. And so this last thing down here will be your final answer.